what is up adg traders this is munya and welcome back to my trading channel today i'm gonna share with you guys uh some way to do long trading on boom and crash this is a boom and crash long trading strategy whereby you'll be able to hold your trade for a long period of try of time rather than just count for a few dollars so i'm gonna share with you guys this strategy and how you can actually make some really good profits uh, on your account and if you are not yet under our account management program please be sure to join that that's where i trade people's accounts and then we split profits uh as per agreed terms and conditions so if you want to be part of that uh make sure you join us and benefit out of it it's quite easy okay but today we want to talk about this strategy where i am uh, teaching you guys how to do long trading uh, on bomb and crash right now we're actually looking at uh crash 500 and you can actually see uh some of the long trades that were happening uh once you just get or uh catch that trend so this trade is going to help you catch the trends uh it's a tried and tested uh boom and crash uh long trading strategy and uh we're gonna do the step-by-step -step process uh, of installing this strategy i'm going to share with you guys the indicators that i used and some of the tips that you might need uh, in order to grow with this uh, with this strategy uh, i'm just going to show you i'm, gonna, I'm just going to start back testing this strategy with you uh, the other part the other thing is you can actually use this strategy uh, on your 15 minute time frame and also on your one hour time frame so for one hour time frame you're talking about holding um holding this at a trade for days for one to two days three days because it will be really catching the trend in uh boom and crash and if you really guys know about boom and crash they trend for days right so once you have the opportunity to catch that trend for the day you're going to make big big profits uh unfortunately i, I couldn't share one of the biggest accounts that we grew using uh uh this strategy and it grew so big i can't share with you guys because of the terms and conditions that i had uh, when we're doing that account management but uh let's just jump it right into uh, the settings part as usual uh we're gonna have the step-by-step -step process uh the first indicator that we need is the moving average with period 13 now this this 13 moving average is um uh, linear weighted which means that if you know about indicators you know that the linear weighted uh moving average shows us the trend so the moment i install it on my chest right now you're going to see something very unique about this line okay let me go to settings moving average uh the uh, here are the properties we have got period 13 the shift is zero the method is linear weighted apply to typical price and then there are no levels and then make sure it appears on all time frames uh we're gonna choose the yellow color and uh for you not to get confused try and follow up with these colors as well okay so we're going to click done and we have something like this on our charts i want you to see how closely linked uh this yellow line is to the, to the candlesticks okay check on the 15 minute time frame this is where we were bouncing each and every time each and every time if you are to draw a line that line will be like this roughly like this i want you guys to see how close the yellow line is to being a straight line right so uh our linear weighted moving average is going to act uh 
on showing us market structure and also showing us breakouts and everything that's happening i want you guys to watch um the entry that or the the trade that you're about to enter uh for for selling crash uh because of what's happening on our charts right now so let me let, let us continue on um installing the indicators the next indicator that i want to install is the macd um if you guys don't know what the macd does then check out my previous videos you'll find out uh, what it does here are the properties first ema is 10 slow ema is 26 macd sma is 8 apply to close and then no levels make sure it appears on all time frames and then the style we've got the main is blue and then the signal is red and then you just click done and you can see that we have our macd showing up uh, on our indicator window one and then last but not least we need to add our linear weighted moving average again so going back to indicators this time we want we're going to add it on our indicator window one moving average same settings i'll just try and change the color so that you guys don't get confused or something okay maybe let's put it to red already have right on our moving on our macd right let's put it to green and done so we have something uh like that which is the full which is the full uh strategy now let's talk about how to actually use the strategy before we do that please make sure you click the subscribe button we're almost at forty thousand subscribers and uh, i promise to do a giveaway to you guys so help me reach forty thousand uh subscribers okay uh make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post uh videos right here on this platform okay currently we're running a promotion of it by you subscribe if you like and if you comment in the comment section uh what you've learned during this video i'll add you to our vip signals group uh for free whereby you i am sharing trades like this uh each and every single day uh just from liking and subscribing you'll get that for free so send me a screenshot on my whatsapp showing that you've subscribed you've liked and you've commented down below i'll leave the link to my number in the description box below you'll find it in our telegram channel so just click the link to take you straight to a free telegram channel and you'll be able to join and also see my number and some of my trading results and my students trading results as well okay so let's continue how do you use this strategy like i said we're going to be using higher time frames from the 15 minute time frame and the one hour time frame right we're looking for long long trades but for the 15 minute time frame you'll probably be looking at intraday trading which means that you're going to hold your trade for the whole day or roughly a, a day and then you close and then on a one hour time frame we're trying to do uh, more like swing trading okay where you can actually hold for long and uh we're talking about more than uh 24 hours in a trade okay so now what's important when you want to do that is you need to figure out a trend for you to be able to hold a trade for that long you need a trend and how do you find a trend a trend with this strategy it's very really easy we're going to look so this we are on our 15 minute time frame which means we're doing intraday trading which means we're looking to hold this trade for probably hours or probably close this trade within a day how do you do that number one you're going to be looking for a crossover of the green and red line then while least we have our macd bars pointing up and forming a peak okay so here's the peak that we are talking about on the macd basically shows our bars going up and down okay and leaving a sharp peak at the top like that okay at the same time, you're going to go to your main chart and look for mark break of market structure. Like I already explained, this yellow line. So it means that if our candlestick, our candlesticks fall to be below that yellow line, we are breaking the upward market structure and we're looking uh, for selling opportunities. And our indicator window one would have already uh, approved of that. So 
immediately will then enter into a sell uh, trade which you see right there and like i said this is intraday trading you're on your 15 minute time frame the trend is not that quite long so it's very short because probably you're trading a retracement of a bigger trend on your one hour time frame probably you can check that you can actually see that you caught that retracement our market was initially a bullish uh, market uh, but our strategy managed to pick up that uh, retracement or that pullback or that correction from the market and you can see that uh, it was profitable you could have made some profits and exited uh, but from our one hour time frame where i was talking about swing trading you can actually see that you would have picked up you could have picked up the buy opportunity first so just imagine you picked up a buy opportunity buy opportunity is basically the opposite of the sell mark uh, conditions that i talked about this time we're looking to have a green and red line cross while it's below our zero line and also the macd has to form a peak which is pointing down which is an inverse peak that right that happened right there and then on our uh, main chart we're mainly looking at uh, break of market structure uh, did our candlesticks cross to be above our yellow line this time yes they did which means we are breaking the previous downward market structure into an upward market structure and you can see that you could have traded all the way up to here and on your 15 minute time frame you were going the strategy was going to tell you to exit that buy position try and get on the correction if you want and also when to exit that correction so can you see that you can actually use your strategy in reverse to know when to do take profits and also when to stop your losses when you see this happening right so basically uh this strategy is that i would like to call it confluence because we're going to, we include price action we include um uh, ICT, including indicators, and if you want to learn this strategy in depth, uh, the technicals of this strategy, uh, I'm teaching this strategy under my mentorship program. Make sure you sign up for that. It's very cheap compared to what you're getting. This is just a glimpse of what the course is actually all about. So you can learn more about these, and these are tried and tested strategies, as you can see. Uh, they are tried and tested on real accounts. You'll never see red in your account again. So I hope you guys enjoy this strategy. Make sure you test it out first on your demo accounts before actually moving on to your real accounts. Uh, this is to make sure that you are comfortable with the strategy uh, because we all have different trading plans and trading styles, and this may not suit your trading plan or your trading style. Okay, so make sure you practice it first uh, before you're jumping to real trading. Until next time.